And this is why I refuse to manage money. <laughs> Just got to email this right now. A great guy, great guy. And I was snarky in my response to him. I'm going to share it with him. He's a good guy. And I told him, I said, look, we'll call him, uh, we'll call him Johnny. I said, hey, Johnny, uh, my, you won't understand my tone. It's going to sound negative, um, but I'm kind of being silly. But it's an email, so you won't understand my tone. Anyway, so here's his email to me. Again, this is a good guy. And Johnny, if you know who, who I'm talking about, I, I, I'm, goose, I'm goosing you here. Hold on a second. The problem with the email is I'm a pretty silly guy, and you can't get the gist that my hair's sticking up uh, on an email. But all right, so he's going to he, uh, write to me. He goes, hey, uh, quick question. He moved 300000 uh into the Vanguard Ginny May in October to help fund early retirement and hedge against a down market for his cash bucket. Barbell. It has steadily dropped over the few months, and I'd like your opinion on staying in the fund if Feds raise interest rates to combat this inflation, or would you move it to the sidelines? Hard for me to see that much money not make anything. All right. <laughs> so I emailed him back. I said, hey, Johnny, don't take this wrong because this is an email. You won't be able to understand my tone as I'm being silly, but it might not sound like it. And so this is what I said to him. Hedge against a down market, that's verbatim quote, and hard for me to see that much money making nothing, another quote, are the exact same thing. This is exactly what the barbell requires. You're going to have to determine if it's worth to make nothing while waiting for a market correction. If you want to move to the cash uh, money market from Ginny May, I've got no problem with that. But you're still not going to make anything in the money market. There is nothing to be made on this side of the barbell. People got to get that through their heads. The barbell isn't to make money. The barbell is to protect the downside. It's just that simple. You've got to understand this. And you can't have it both ways. I, I, and that's what I said. I said you can't have your cake and eat it too. Take the risk. And hope for good returns or take risk off the table and be disappointed that you aren't making anything. But you can't have both. It's uh, and this is why I just, I'll, I mean, this is why you can't win as a money manager. Because people are never, and look, I'm not bagging on this guy. I'm just, I get it. What I'm saying is like, man, and so, but I had a chuckle too. So I went to look, I said, what has Ginny May actually done here? And I said, oh, it's... <laughs> So he said back in October, so October is when he puts uh, 300000 in Ginny May, and the price, uh, we'll just say it's 1064 now it's down to 1048 1064 down to 1048 All right, that's without any interest, by the way. So we're just using the price per share. So 1064 minus 1048 divided by uh, 1064 He's down one half percent on the... Uh, on the price per share, Ginny May is probably paying one. What's Ginny May paying right now? One, according to Yahoo, one point one one. So you divide that by four. So he's down about one percentage points. So three hundred thousand bucks is worth what uh, two hundred ninety seven thousand dollars right now. He's lost three lost three thousand dollars. I just look, and I'm not you do whatever you want to do. I don't care. But the point about the barbell is you're not going to make money in the barbell, my friends. It's for safety, security, and liquidity. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And if you're sitting there thinking, now his thing is they're going to raise interest rates to deal with inflation. I, look, that might happen if you look, actually. I mean, just... <laughs> I, <laughs> why do you think I just badger people so much the idea that the Fed raising interest rates are going to be, be inflation? It's not. And the Fed knows this, man. They know this. Raising interest rates aren't going to be inflation. Has the Fed raised interest rates? Oh, no, they haven't. And let me just show you something. The Fed has not raised interest rates, and yet look at this. Look at that. It's a 10-year treasury. Interest rates have gone from 1.45 to 1.77. That's a 25 basis point increase in interest rates in less than a week. Has nothing to do with the Fed raising. It's just people are saying, ooh, I better sell my bonds because they might raise. Or they're saying, ooh, I better sell my bonds because I, I don't know why. I, frankly, I don't get this, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. The rates fluctuate has nothing to do with the Fed. The Fed doesn't raise long-term rates. Now, the Fed might not be buying as many bonds. That might be why the rates are going higher. I don't know. I don't know. I frankly don't care. Short-term stuff. If you just look at history of any bond fund, I just I implore you to do this. Look at the history of any bond fund. If year one is down, the next year is up. 
every single time. It's not, I cannot guarantee that'll happen again. I have no clue. But the point about the barbell, oh, isn't to make money. It's simply to protect it. And if you think that Ginny May being down 1%, 3,000 bucks on a $300,000 investment is going to, if that's what's getting you want to get out of the, the Ginny May, well, heaven forbid, then you should, by all means, go to Money Marker C's. I can no qualm with that. But you're still not going to make any money. And that's why I don't manage money. Because you can't win here. You're forever going to apologize. And this is what Makitsa says on the uh, bar on the uh, diversification. Being well diversified means you're always going to have to say I'm sorry. Always. And I completely agree. And I just, I look, and I'm, I'm, my man, Johnny's a good guy. I'm, I'm using him for an example for you to learn. I'm not bash him. I completely get it. But pull your head out and say, why do I have the barbell? What's the point? And you got to start with that premise. If you're looking at short-term prospects, you're, you're doing it wrong. Retirement is a long game, my friends. Long game. you got to protect the bottom line first and foremost. All right. Love to your thoughts. Thanks.